What is up y'all and welcome to another video. If it's your first time stopping by my channel, I'm Jeff Rowe and this is Jeff Rowe's Fish Keeping. I'm really excited about today's video. Today is the start of a series that I'm going to call Pleco vs. Food. The type of food that I picked today was watermelon and not a lot of people feed their Plecos watermelon. I don't recommend to do it all the time. But it sure was a lot of fun to feed my plecos this watermelon and hopefully you guys enjoy welcome to the first installment of pleco versus food tonight i am putting in a big old hunk of watermelon tied to a big rock to hopefully weight it down um like i said in the intro i don't recommend you doing this all the time but i want to see how these little pigs tear up this watermelon and I want to bring you guys along with. So here goes nothing. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> hey. Let's go. Yo, once again I'm back around, uh, real shit back in style, uh, haters reconcile, uh, I'm so black and proud, first class tickets now, uh, feet all in the eye, uh, everybody looking down, everybody get red when you drown, huh? Look at me up, I'm putting it down, you picking it up Checking the models, they want us to go to college just so we can be stuck Go to school to make a living, or teach yourself to make a fortune Common sense, welcome to the apocalypse, bitch I'm one of the horsemen I don't need your endorsement, I don't need reinforcement Giving you your last warning, cause I'm at my prime Yeah I'm at my What is up y'all? Pat them in here about an hour and uh, they are tearing it up. Now one of the biggest reasons why I don't recommend um, watermelon is it's just not practical. Um, they don't need, boy I'm shaky. They don't need watermelon. You know, you can feed them green beans and just your regular pellets. You know, you can feed green beans once a week and your plecos will live a long time I'm doing this as a video series and I don't recommend doing a new food unless you've really researched it and maybe tested it on a smaller scale but I've looked around and I've seen a lot of people feeding their plecos watermelon I'm not gonna do it on a regular basis um, I do feed other foods and I will make more videos like this in the future um, I'm just going to make a series out of it. It's kind of cool um, to see these plecos tear up this watermelon. So the next time I check in with you guys on this one, there will probably be a lot of rind only left. I'm sure by tomorrow morning they will have this thing torn completely apart. So I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Yeah. I'm at my I'm at my prime Said I'm at my prime We at our prime Hey Hey We at our prime Yeah I'm at my prime Hey Hey I'm at my All right, y'all. It is the next morning, and as you can see, they have made tunnels into the meat of the watermelon, and some of them are completely up inside. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I was thinking that, um, you know, the meat of a watermelon is really grainy, if you know what it feels like on your tongue. I was thinking that it would be scattered everywhere and it would be really messy, but it's like it doesn't ever completely come apart. So 
Um, as you can see, the quantity of plecos on the watermelon has slowed. I'm sure they're getting full bellies. Looks like there's only like five left on it. But um, like I said earlier in the video, um, you know, plecos don't really need this type of food. Um, you know, watermelon is like something like 90% water. So there's not very many nutrients in a watermelon. Did it is fun for a video series and I will change their water tonight and put some new fresh water in there and get this watermelon out of there. Hopefully um, you guys enjoyed as much as I did. These guys are pigs. So what'd you guys think? Wow, they really tore it up. I mean, they was on it within just seconds of me putting the watermelon in the tank. Um, it turned out a lot better than what I thought. I was afraid that it was going to make a big mess in the tank and really cause a lot of havoc in the tank and um, need to do a water change right away. Um, you know, a lot of people are hesitant to put um, different types of fruits because of the citric acid but uh i did some research on it um like i said you don't want to feed your plecos watermelon all the time but every once in a great while it's nice to treat them it's not really high nutritional food they don't need it to survive and they do fine without it but it sure was a lot of fun i enjoyed making this video and uh yeah so if it is your first time stopping by my channel make sure and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it don't forget to hit the post notification bell i'm uploading videos on mondays and thursdays and i'm also live streaming on wednesdays and saturdays thanks for coming along on this video hopefully you guys enjoyed and we'll catch you on the next one peace out y'all yeah Ready? <laughs> hey! Let's go! Back! Yo, once again I'm back around. Uh, Rush it back in style. Uh, haters reconcile.